So now, let's see how we can work with learning interactions inside of Adobe Captivate. So to work with learning interactions, first of all, you have to go to the interactions section right over here, and then you should click on learning interactions. Once you go over there, you can see that you can select any interaction of your choice. For example, I can select this one right over here. Uh, you can choose any, the process is same for all of them. So I'm just going to choose one, for example, right over here and press insert. So once I do that, what happens is that a new configuration window opens up where you can work around with the interaction. For example, you can give a title right over here. So you can double click and say software, right? Application. And you can give a description. So something like uh, use of software. All right. So let's say I have this. So I can give labels right over here. So I'm going to say I'm, I, I can double click this and I can change the label right over here. So I can say Photoshop, let's say, for example, and another one, the label two is going to be Illustrator, for example. So double click on this, say Illustrator, just like that. And label three, I can double click on this and say uh, After Effects, just like that. So I got three. Uh, labels as you can see so if i want to remove the fourth fourth level i can just double click on this and click on this delete button right over here i can press add button to add in more buttons as you can see from here as well but i'm just going to go ahead and delete this out so double click delete this out and new level double click on this and delete this out so double click and delete so now i'm going to go into after effects right over here and double click over here in after effects so i'm going to say this is used for motion graphics. So I can also actually add in an audio in my, in this case, I'm not going to add an audio, but you can add in an audio effect, uh, which actually plays out when you click the button as well. So let me just go into Photoshop now. So I'm going to type in used for image editing, used for image editing right over here. And then Illustrator used for vector graphics design. All right, so now I got three explanations uh, right over here, just like that. Okay, so now uh, once I did everything, what I can do over here is I can set it to full screen, just like this, to see everything in detail as well. I reduce the size and see the themes on the left side. Then what you can do is you can customize this as well. Once you go to customize section, you can use the default colors or customize it. But let me go to themes and change the outlook of this right over here. So you can see right over here that there's different themes. So I can scroll down and choose a theme I like. For example, like this one right here, or I can go around here and choose a different color theme just like this, as you can see. So I'm just going to go around and choose, let's say, for example, this one right over here. Then you can go to custom and choose customize right over here as well. So once you go to customize, you can change the button colors as you can see. So for example, right now active is this, so you can simply change the color of the active button like this as well. So let me just go over here and choose this one. You can also change the text so you can see right now it's Arial regular, so you can change into something else as well if you want to. So I'm just going to go back onto Arial itself right over here. So once I do that, I can customize, you can see right over here. So you can customize buttons, you can customize content like text, color, and so forth. You can choose a different background color right over here as well. For example, like this, uh, you can also go around here onto body background color, and you can see that that affects the body background color. So no matter what in learning interaction object you choose, they come with their own uh, type of like settings right over there. So you can just select this and there you go. This is something you can do. Another thing you can do is apply theme color as well. So what it does is it selects out the color from the theme that Captivate uh, project theme and then applies it here. In our case, it's a grayscale theme. That's why that has been applied. Let me just go back to default colors right over here and customize it right over here. You can also scale the text for a responsive project, which is usually what you want to have turned on if you're using a responsive project, just like that. So I'm just going to go to header right now over here and then choose the color for the header as well. So let me just choose over here. Let's say, for example, I'm going to choose black and then the text right over here. I'm just going to choose uh, something like white, something like a bright color over here. So I'm just going to go around here, choose a bright color just like that. 
and then I'm going to press OK. So once I do that, what happens is that uh, the learning interaction actually pops up right over here, as you can see, uh, just like that. So if I were to rescale it, you can see that it rescales just like this. Now let us preview this and this will seem much more different. So I'm going to go to publish and uh, not publish, but preview and then preview the entire project and let's see how it actually looks like. So over here, this is the preview. So if I were to press play, you can see that this is the learning interaction I have. I can click After Effects. You can see that the animation is there. I can click it and you can see that different information actually pops up just like this. So I can go over here and click on any one of these and you can see that there's animation and information pop up just like that. This is all responsive as you can see. Uh, so if I were to dial in the responsiveness right over here, you can see that it resizes all of the information. And as uh, I resize it even further, this is what you see in a mobile phone view right over here. So you can see that as you click it, there's a dial and there's the animation. And this is how everything seems like right over here. And that is how you can create a different learning interactions inside of Adobe Captivate. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.